Hello students, this is the second video in the series of frequency synthesizer. In the first video we have already seen uh, the definition and characterization. In the second video we are going to see the second method of frequency synthesizer. Uh, the topic is frequency synthesis, synthesis by PLL. So we are going to see what is a phase lock loop, why we need a phase lock loop. Okay, so we'll start with a very simple one of the block of a phase lock loop called as VCO. So if you see VCO, voltage control oscillator, you can see that this VCO itself can generate frequency. This being a very simple block, very simple circuit. If I change the voltage around it, the voltage input, which is a DC voltage input, it is going to produce a high frequency. Based on the DC voltage of V, I am going to get, I am going to get uh, the uh, frequency output. So this itself become a frequency synthesizer. So for the time being, at least it seems that this can function as a frequency synthesizer. The question is then, if this block itself can become a frequency synthesizer, why we have a circuit around or component around it? to make a uh, complex circuit called as phase lock loop. So VCO being the very heart of uh, phase lock loop can become a frequency synthesizer circuit. The thing is, though it is having an advantage of being very simple to produce a different range of frequency, it has a disadvantage of a drift in frequency. So if there is a change in temperature, or there are other factors like an aging effect, VCO is going to change the uh, frequency. Okay, so that 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 would be a terrible condition in a, a for in any communication block. Okay, you cannot afford to have uh, a varying frequency for a communication block for an oscillator or for a mixer. So what we do is uh, this being an open loop technique, we employ a closed loop technique. A feedback system in a closed loop feedback system we can have the output constant isn't it so uh, we will directly uh, go through uh, the uh, entire uh, block of block diagram of NPLL so before going into the block diagram I want you to uh, think uh, what uh, a control system component uh, consists of what different blocks a control uh, closed loop control system have so can you think of uh, what is the first block in a closed loop control system and likewise uh, first second and third block one of the block between open loop system and closed loop system um, common block is a plant itself so you have a plant in an open loop system as well as in a closed loop control system. So what you have in a closed loop system is a plant, uh, you need a controller and you need a proper input to a controller which comes from an error detector. This error detector being the first block of a clo closed loop system takes input from a reference uh, from a reference input which is nothing but your required output of the system and the second input to error detector is your feedback input from feedback loop itself. So if you see the circuit diagram, uh, sorry block diagram, you will find that the first block being an error detector, error detector is a phase detector which takes two input, reference input and uh, the input from a feedback loop. This output is going to a controller and an output of a controller is manipulating the plant. Plant, your plant is VCO which is generating a constant frequency. This frequency is divided by a factor N to produce different frequency uh, and given back to a, a, an error detector. The thing is VCO produces a very high frequency value. You cannot directly compare the high frequency value with an FR. 
एफ आर इज एन इनपुट फ्रीक्वेंसी जनरेट फ्रॉम इन क्रिस्टल ऑसलेटर जनरली इट इट हैज़ अ वैल्यू इन द रेंज ऑफ मेगा हार्ट सो इट इज हैविंग अ वेरी लो फ्रीक्वेंसी यू कैन नॉट डायरेक्टली कंपेयर एफ आर विथ द आउटपुट फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ वी सी ओ जनरली वी सी ओ प्रोड्यूस अ हाई रेंज ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी दैट्स वाई यू नीड टू डिवाइड इट स्केल डाउन सो दैट यू कैन कंपेयर एफ आर एन एफ टी एंड देन पी डी पी डी इज नथिंग बट योर एडिटर इट इज गोइंग टू प्रोड्यूस द आउटपुट बेस्ड ऑन द डायरेक्टली बेस्ड ऑन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एफ आर एन एफ डी एंड दिस आउटपुट इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोजल टू द डिफरेंस ऑफ एफ आर एन एफ डी एफ एस बींग योर लो पास फिल्टर और इंटीग्रेटर दिस इज गोइंग टू इंटीग्रेट द इम्पल्स आउटपुट ओवर द टाइम एंड मैनुपलेट योर वीस यू सो थिंग इज वाई वी नीड अ फेस डिटर द रीजन फॉर हैविंग अ फेस डिटर इज फेस डिटर इज द ब्लॉक विच कैन एक्चुअली फाइंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एफ आर एन एफ टी सो यू डोंट हैव एन फ्रीक्वेंसी डिटर टू फाइंड आउट डिफरेंस बिटवीन फ्रीक्वेंसी यू हैव टू इम्प्लॉय अ फेस डिटर यू कैन नॉट डायरेक्टली मेजर द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ एनी कंपोनेंट सो वॉट यू डू इज एट टाइम टी वन एंड टाइम टी टू यू मेजर द फ्रीक्वेंसी of these two signal and if you find the difference between these two phases then you will you can predict that the frequency is different but on the right hand side if you refer the waveform you will find that the phases measured between t1 and t2 are having the same phase whereas on the left hand side you will find that the phases of these two signal are different at t1 and t2 so if the phases are same we say that the frequency is same so based on the difference of the frequency it is going to produce a output and that output is going to manipulate the plant so when pll is function properly you can say that the output of an error detector is same you can say fr and ft is same fr is reference frequency ft is the frequency from feedback and you know that fd is obtained from fo which is an output of frequency which is an output frequency from vco so you can get fd fds fo upon n and if you say that fo uh, fr is equal to fd then you can say fo is equal to nfr so here you can say that your frequency is getting synthesized your fo is getting synthesized by fixed frequency fr and if you change the value of n you can get different value of frequency and what is the value of n value of n can be divide uh, can be obtained from an programmable divider so based on your requirement you can have different value of n and you can get different frequency and this frequency produced by vco is stable because of the closed loop system so any difference between fr fr and fd Uh, would be detected at the error detector and it is manipulated in such a order that your fr becomes fd and you get a constant output so that is how your closed loop system work the next thing is uh, this fr will become the resolution of your circuit so fr uh, being same as fr as in reference frequency your fr is nothing but resolution of your frequency synthesizer as we have discussed resolution is one of the specification of frequency synthesizer there is one more specification which is a very important uh, specification and it's time to discuss that specification we call it as an switching time so if you see the block diagram or if you see the expression first your expression is fo equal to nfr so i can have two different frequency as in f1 and f2 and if i vary n as n1 and n2 i can switch from frequency f1 and f2 so if you see block diagram my f output can depend on value n if i change n from n1 to n2 my f will become f1 to f2 so the question is how much time it is going to take to take that transition if i am having frequency fn 
if you refer this diagram if i change frequency from an fn to f2 what is the transition period between that so this transition period is known as switching time and it takes some amount of time to have that transition so it is observed that the switching time ts is 25 by fr where fr is the resolution of your uh, system of frequency synthesizer so you can see uh, here the relation between ts and fr so if i say my system is faster so to make system faster my ts should be low value so to make ts low i can say that fr should be very high so now you can see there is an uh, uh, conflicting requirement to make system fast my resolution will suffer because i have to make resol resolution value high suppose i want to make resolution better by decreasing the value of fr so if i decrease the value of fr i can say my resolution is good but if i decrease fr what will happen with ts ts value will become higher and then switching time from f1 to f2 will be higher so there i will suffer from uh, speed point of view of a frequency synthesizer so that is the conflicting requirement between ts and fr and we have to make trade off between ts and fr